Do you ever feel like... I've made a huge mistake. Well, I do, because in my last video, all about how fun Athrus's Embrace is, I forgot to tell you about the Solar Fragment Ember of Torches, which totally changes the game if you're using an Athrus build. If you get a powered melee hit, which is pretty easy to do with these Athrus knives, then you get Radiant, and if you have Knock Em Down equipped, and you get a knife kill, which, keep in mind, only has to hit the body for a kill, you get your entire knife back immediately. This makes Athrus builds way better, and I'm so sorry I forgot to mention it in the last video. However, because of this mistake, I got to make you another video, so... Win-win. Anyway, I also learned a lot more about this build as I've been using it more, and I got some great tips from my friend Centarius101, whose nickname in my server is Dedicated Athrus Main, and they truly are dedicated to this build. So today, I want to make you a shorter video just focused on those specialized things that you might not have known, but you could definitely use these tips to take the build to the next level. I'll go much deeper into this build and some places where it could improve, and then I'll go over some pro tips. As a side note, this video is slightly more casual than my other ones, but I think the information contained within this one is just as valuable to master Atheris, and I hope you'll get something out of it. Okay, so here's where I've landed for the Atheris build. I've gotten Smite of Moraine up to level 25, and I've been having a lot of fun with it, and instead of pairing it with a shotgun, I now enjoy pairing it with an SMG. This is because after I get the knife procced with Atheris, and then I throw it and I get it back right away from Ember of Torches, then I kind of want to go in and get more up close and personal to the enemies, and then proc the Strength and Throwing Knife perk again, because notably the Atheris buff from the knife giving it extra damage just goes away as soon as you get a knife hit. So you kind of want to reproc that right away because you just got your knife back. So I find the most enjoyable way for me to do that is with an SMG and then I can chain kills back to back more easily because I'm closer to people. And with rangefinder and a decent range SMG, you can still be out of the zone of bullshit and get some stuff to happen, which is kind of nice. Also, I still think Pugilist and Swashbuckler are the way to go, particularly these enhanced versions. They just give you so much more. I've also swapped out two steady rounds and a stability masterwork because it just seems a lot more worth it to have more stability than range, and I haven't noticed any range loss, really. I think I maybe lost like a meter or two by losing Accurized and the range master work, and I'm much more enjoying the airborne effectiveness and the stability, and Arrowhead is still the way to go. I'm also using Eager Edge just for enhanced mobility, because obviously I'm using Acrobat's dodge, which means I don't need to use the threat detector thing on a heavy weapon. Speaking of this, I think Acrobat's dodge is the way to go, because you just get the Radiant right away, and then that obviously plays into knock him down perks, so when you get Radiant and then get a final blow with your equipped throwing knife, which is quite easy to do when you have the Athrus perk going, then you're just going to get your knife back right away, and that's great. And if you hit someone with the knife, you just get Radiant again, and then you have to charge up the Athrus perk again, and then you can do this again, and it's just a really nice loop. This one I still think is really important, so Radiant lasts longer. I also still enjoy pairing it with the Healing Grenade over the Incendiary Grenade. The Incendiary is much more fun for the Geometry Master fantasy that Athrus plays into, like bouncing things off surfaces and all that, but I think the utility and survivability of Healing Grenade is just a little bit more enjoyable for me because then as soon as I get that Athrus chain rolling then I can just be a little bit more safe particularly because my recovery is not that high and that's not because I'm reducing recovery here I'm not adding to it also with these but I just don't quite have the armor to get high recovery and I would much rather have high mobility high resilience and high strength those are the three most important nade and recovery I just back up and intellect does not matter at all because the acrobats dodge takes the longest to recharge it's definitely worth doing double utility kickstart in my opinion and then I also pair it with the lightweight SMG. So that way, if my melee is recharging and the dodge is going to take longer and the melee is already almost up, probably, which is often the case because of Pugilist, then I can just get the dodge to recharge more quickly by using the lightweight frame, which intrinsically gives oops, plus 20 mobility and faster sprint speed too, which I really like. And this just feels a lot better holding this out when you're trying to get your dodge to recharge faster rather than just holding your shotgun out. Obviously, you could just go 100 mobility, but if you're kind of struggling in the hunter armor, stats department like I am, and it's nice to have that option and still have a really strong primary. So anyway, armor mods, I do targeting for the two primaries. It is hard to run double primary these days, but it still is kind of rewarding in my opinion. I swap this out with resilience depending on what I'm feeling in the moment. On the arms, I just keep fastball on in case I want to swap to incendiaries, then reloader. Radiant light goes here or wherever you want really. One unflinching is good. Stacking more than one of these gives you almost no benefit, so just do one. You could 
do SMG unflinching if you wanted to, but I just don't personally have room for it. Powerful Friends gives the enhanced mobility with Radiant Light equipped too, but I also have Quick Charge equipped, which greatly increases the ready speed of my SMG, which is quite nice. It would be good to get the handling a little bit higher on Smite because the handling is very high on Funnel Web. It doesn't show it from Quick Charge, but it is. So if I had room for Pulse Rifle Dexterity, that'd be good, but I think I'd just rather have Fastball and then I can swap my nades out whenever I want, like even mid-match, and it's fine. I added a little recovery here, but again, I'll just drop that sometimes and go full resilience. Depends on how I'm feeling. And then obviously you already know about W Utility Kickstart and High Energy Fire for when I get charged up for a number of things, which will just make Smite and Funnel Web melt. Can't believe I forgot to mention that. Oh well. Also, I love how the SMG fires really, really fast, so it's easy to get the Athros perk activated by just like firing a few shots. Ooh, also another thing, Icarus Grip Extended Mag makes that feel a lot better. I also did the same thing over here with Steady Rounds and Icarus Grip and all that jazz. Okay, so those are the build tips, and now it's time for a few final pro tips. First up, you can't bounce your knife off Titan Barricades, and you can't get your Athros knife under Titan Barricades on flat ground, but you can if there's a small gap because they placed it on a hill, so that is definitely an option. It's one of the many ways you can play to the Geometry Master fantasy, which I think is also what makes Incendiary Nades a good choice for this class. Not to mention the scorching you can do, which can set up some really fun Athros knife explosions since the weighted throwing knife ignites scorched targets. Next up, the Athros perk strengthened throwing knife is actually only giving you the buffed damage and unstoppable champion stuns, but all the other perks like the double bounce and the added magnetism are just always active when you're wearing Athros's embrace. Also, the second bounce's magnetism of every Athros knife is much stronger than the first, so bouncing knives off the floor to start and then the wall is often a really good way to get a kill. Next up, Javelin and Midtown are some of the best Athros maps. That's it. That's all there is to this tip. Okay, final tip, and this one is weird, but apparently if you get two rapid precision hits and then a precision knife hit while wearing Athras, it'll simultaneously buff the knife itself and proc Ember of Torches, giving you the knife back immediately and letting you throw a knife with the Athras buff. So that's awesome. If you can get that to happen, come at me in the Discord with a clip of it because I've only seen it once and it sounds really cool. Also, if you want to see more fun build videos and you have an idea for one, come grab the content advisor role and then you can see the video suggestions channel and add in your build idea. Just please keep Keep it concise and clear and keep in mind I'm not aiming for silly cheesiness or overpowered stuff or like intense meta worship but something right down the middle instead. Alright that's it for today and thanks so much for watching. If you missed the Athros build video check that out and if not may I suggest my review of Hunters. Alright catch you later. Bye bye.